How does a researcher simulate data? For example, a researcher has previous research that suggests 60% of birds have built a nest in the same place at least twice. How would you simulate this data using one digit numbers and the digits 0 through 9 for a trial of 50 birds? In this lesson, you will learn how to generate sample survey data by using simulations. What is a simulation? A simulation is a method used to model random events and allows researchers to model real-world phenomena. Why do we use simulations? Simulations are used for statistical studies and analyses because randomness can be accounted for. Simulations can study present systems or they can study how a change would affect a present system. What are the steps in a simulation? First, you describe possible outcomes. Then you link those outcomes to a random device, such as using random numbers. Then you generate outcomes of that random device. You analyze simulated outcomes and then you report results. Let's look at an example of a simulation. Airline on-time arrival statistics say the Air Nice flight from Philadelphia to Atlanta is on time 70% of the time. Simulate the air arrival time for an Air Nice flight from Philadelphia to Atlanta for 40 flights using a random number table. Using the digits, how would you design the simulation? There are two possible outcomes. Either the flight is on time or it is delayed. An on time flight happens 70% of the time. One digit numbers can be used. The digits 0 through 9 represent 10 different outcomes. 70% of 10 is 7, so we need to use 7 digits to represent an on time flight. A delayed flight happens 30% of the time. 30% of 10 is 3, so we need to use 3 digits to represent a delayed flight. The seven digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 will represent an on-time flight, and the three digits 7, 8, and 9 will represent a delayed flight. The assignment of digits is arbitrary just as long as you have seven digits that represent an on-time flight and three digits that represent a delayed flight. This is a snippet of a random number table. We need to pick a random row to start. Let's say we start with row 3. Since we are simulating 40 flights, we need the first 40 digits in that row. Then we can go back to our assignment of numbers for on-time and delayed flights. We can then get a simulated percentage of an on-time arrival. In this simulation, there were 29 out of 40 flights that were on-time, so the simulated percentage is 72.5%. This percentage may not be the same if we had chosen another row or another starting point. Let's look at another example. Recent polls suggest Emmett Palmer, a candidate for Senate, is leading the race with 55% of voters saying they would vote for, for Palmer. Simulate the vote for 10 voters. Using two digit numbers with the numbers 0, 1 through 20, how would you design this simulation? Again, there are two possible outcomes, either a vote for Palmer or a vote for his opponent. Palmer has 55% of the vote. This time we have to use more than the digits 0 through 9, since 55% of 10 is 5.5, which is not a whole number. We can use two digit numbers. We can use the numbers 0, 1 through 20 for our purposes because the percentages will give us whole numbers. We will disregard the numbers 21 through 99. If we use the digits 0, 1 through 20, 55% of 20 is 11, so we need 11 digits to represent a vote for Palmer. Palmer's opponent has 45% of the vote. 45% of 20 is 9, so we need 9 digits to represent a vote for Palmer's opponent. The digits 0, 1 through 11 will represent a vote for Palmer, and the digits 12 through 20 will represent a vote for Palmer's opponent. Using the same random numbered table, let's start with row 1 this time. Since we have two digit numbers, we have to use two digits in the random number table. That means that sometimes we will not get a number that is in our 20 numbers, 0, 1 through 20. For example, the third two digit number in our random number table is 60. We cannot use that number. We have to list the numbers until we get our required 10 voters. 
This list is longer than the first example, and we have to and we and once we have our ten voters, we can stop the simulation. I have highlighted the ten voters that are in our list to the twenty two digit numbers. We can assign the vote then to Palmer or his opponent. In this simulation, there were five votes for Palmer and five votes for his opponent. In this case, the winner could not be determined because it was a dead tie. Another simulation might produce different results. At this point, Palmer is in a race that is too close to call. Let's go back to our lesson introduction. A researcher has previous research that suggests 60% of birds have built a nest in the same place at least twice. How would you simulate this data using one-digit numbers in the digits 0 through 9 for a trial of 50 birds? Possible outcomes are either the bird built in the same place or not, Built in the same place happens 60% of the time. There are 10 digits in the numbers 0 to 9, so 60% of 10 is 6. We need to use 6 digits to represent a bird that builds a nest in the same place. Not building in the same place happens 40% of the time. 40% of 10 is 4, so we need to use 4 digits to represent a bird that does not build in the same place. We can use the digits, the 4 digits, the six digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, to represent a bird that builds in this ne a nest in the same place. We can use the digits 6, 7, 8, and 9 to represent a bird that does not build in the same place. Then we can use a random number generator to simulate the data. In this lesson, you have learned how to generate sample survey data by using simulations.